Hello and welcome to Community Connections here at SCAN. My name is Tom Hayes. I'm your host for today's program. And I've got some wonderful guests that are going to be talking about the Senior Olympics. I have Pat Trombetta and Frank St. Marie. Uh, they're both co-chairmen of the New Jersey Senior Olympics. And it's great to have you gentlemen with us. Thank, Thank you very much. Tom. And I just, Mike before you, it's a, it's a pleasure having you both. And I just want to say before we even start, I see you have medals on you. Yeah. So you're, you're, Olymp you're senior Olympians. Yes, we are. Very yeah. nice, yeah. very nice. We, we've been competing okay. since uh, they started in Woodbridge. Wow, very good, very good. So tell us about the, the event. So when did the whole Senior Olympics start, and then when did it start in Woodbridge? Well, it, it's, it's 32 years that it's been around different towns. Uh, started with uh, Mike Garamella, the director. He's from okay. Caldwell. Okay. And, um, well, we heard about it through a friend of ours, a mutual friend of ours, and Pat and I said, and Chester, Chester Canal. Uh, and we got interested in it because Chester was a uh, gold medal winner in the national games. Oh. And he was very much into it, and he got us interested in this. And she said, well, how about if we talk to the director and get some information? And this is what we did. And through that, I think that was like 2006. Okay. And uh, of course, we needed to get a lot of information to go back to our mayor to, because we wanted to run it in Woodbridge Township. Mm. So we went back and forth for uh, that year or so. And uh, when we got all the information, he was very enthused. And he says, that sounds like a very good project. He says, it's a good event for our, our town. And uh, what we did was we went back to the director and we said to Mike, you know, come to Woodbridge. We'll show you our facilities. And he looked at our facilities and it, it was much, much better than what he's ever had. Nice. And he said, okay, he says, we can do this. So that's how it all got started. And that's great. Yeah. It's like the real Olympics or like the Super Bowl. Like they have to scatter around the location and find the place that they're going to pick. And you got them to, to choose Woodbridge. Good for you guys. That's, that's yeah, because we have a, all facilities in our in our town to take care of all of the events. Nice. And uh, what, what we do is, uh, well, we started out, we figured, well, our goal here, what's, what do we want to do with this? And it was more like, Let's get these seniors involved, be, get them to be physically active. And we all know that as you get older, it's uh, always important to be physically and mentally uh, active in your senior years. That's what we do here at SCAN, same sort of thing all throughout the year. We're training. People come in, they learn and get educated and, and be healthy and do exercise classes. And so we're very much on board with, the, with this yeah, thinking. So, and, and it's been working out very well. That was our original idea, and it still is today. Right. After 12 years. Right. That's so great. Today they call it the home of the New Jersey Senior Olympics. Nice. Yeah. Excellent. That's great. Great yeah. work, right? It, it worked well, and so far, so good. Yeah, that's excellent. Yeah. So now, tell me like, um, the events that you've run. First of all, I want to know where you got your medals in. Okay. Well, I got mine in uh, bocce. Okay. Uh, I billiards, darts, uh, horseshoes. Wow. Uh, some other uh, events that that we uh, basketball, uh, uh, foul shooting. And Holy crap. accuracy. Okay. So these are the events that we uh, that we can do. You know, yeah. I, nothing strenuous for, for our age. You know, uh, <laughs> we want to <laughs> we want to just do things that we can actually right. uh, participate in. That's great. I stay away from track and field and the whole, <laughs> and swimming and, and all power these. lifting. <laughs> yeah, no, I stay away from that. As Pat will tell you too. Gotcha. That's great. And yeah. how about you? Yes, you get same thing. Basically, uh, adding other uh, sporting events with miniature golf we have right now. Oh. We cornhole along last year. Oh, and love that I game. I won a gold medal in that. Okay. I wear them all today, but you're walking around with my neck down. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it's, it's been very good. The competition is good, and I'm looking forward to it every year. That's great. Yeah. That's great. It is great. And I think it's important for folks to, like you said, keep active. And, you know, it's harder to hit a moving target, right? Uh, yeah. yeah <laughs> right. That's right. true. Right. Yeah. No, that's great. Now, um, do you have family members that come out and root, root cheer for you and 
stuff like that for these for these games and stuff? Uh, we at have times? our friends. A lot of folks. Some of our friendly. Yeah. Uh, you know, yeah. uh, we got our billiard club that we have a lot of activity there. So they're all out rooting for us, and they they also participate too. That's great. That yeah. sounds, sounds. It's always so much fun, right? Yes. So what are the age brackets for the events? Age brackets is fifty. 54 okay. increments of, of five. Right okay. up until we have a bocce player from Caldwell, New Jersey, 104 years old. 104 playing coming bocce. Back, coming back again this year. Great. Physically fit, God bless him. Amen. Uh, but that, that's the age group. 50, wow. 52. Uh, I think it's worth just going just to see the 100 and, 104, did you say? 104. 104, 104 year old, no. just to see him play bocce. And then, and maybe he'll give tips on how he oh, lives no, so long. with him. He gets an automatic medal every year because nobody's in his <laughs> age bracket. Okay. Oh, oh, he so has, I'm, he I'm has no peers. That's a good dad. <laughs> That'll keep you alive. Just getting to keep right. going in for the for that medal every year. And just going to win. That's amazing. Yeah, and our mayor normally plays him, and, and uh, they have fun. He always beats the mayor. Though. Wow. The mayor. That's great. That's yeah. really great. Wow, that's very impressive. Yeah. 104 yeah. and yeah. still out there and playing bocce. Wow. Yeah. I'm I'm impressed. <laughs> hmm. I would, I honestly, I would go just to talk to him and find out what his secrets well, are. You're invited if you yeah. Want to talk okay. To him. I don't want to know his secrets. No, I don't. <laughs> no, oh, no. no. You don't, Tom. Oh, I was hoping it was just good, clean living. I might have a chance. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> so um, I know you have like registration deadlines, and I don't need real dates and stuff like. But but is it usually like several months before the event, or do you usually still let people sign up? Like it's, it's what's the time frame? Basically, like two two weeks before the event starts. Okay. We have a deadline. Okay, yes. got. Gotcha, yeah, that's good. Sure. And the event usually happens in like the September time September frame? September frame time okay, frame. Okay, yes. that's yeah, great. Yeah. That's great. And is it like how many days is the is the event itself? It's uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, the okay. weekend. And okay. then we have other events that are in another month for archery. We don't okay. do it the same weekend. Okay. We have uh, actually golf is done in another, another month also. Okay. Because it takes a lot of time with golf. We could get get over a hundred participants in golf. Right, so gotcha. We do, we do it on a special weekend for that. Okay. Yeah. That's amazing. That's great. Um, and are there discounts, senior discounts? Oh yeah. Yeah. Well yeah. Okay. What, what we did, Frank and I, with the generous sponsors we do have, we were able to give the <coughs> give the people in Woodbridge a discount. That means for three sporting events, instead of paying thirty dollars, we give them a twenty five dollar discount. Wow. Pay five. Wow. That's and great. Like one of the shirts I have on right now. Right. They also will get a free shirt for wow. participating in the Olympics. Wow, that's excellent. So yeah. we're saying, gee, why Woodbridge? So what our mayor did, he reached out to every mayor in New Jersey, giving them the same opportunity, even if it's not a, quite a few people, even five, six, seven, ten people. Right. Sponsor people from your town. And Frank and I, with the applications coming in, we're seeing a lot of that right now. And nice. May is it kicking in? That's and nice. The seniors out. That's smart it's and supportive, and it's that's nice yes. that he's sharing that concept with all the other towns too, right? right? It so. worked well for us, so yeah, why should it work well for them. No, that's great. And you know, we love our seniors, and you know, yeah, you absolutely. guys, you know, yeah. you know, you're the trailblazers, and we have a lot of debt of gratitude for for folks that have gone before us, and yeah. you know, doing these great things, and really doing this wonderful program is excellent so the fact that they're doing this underwriting and getting this done for for the seniors is amazing that's really wonderful yeah, it's a beautiful thing that's great boy you guys are you guys are very impressive <laughs> so yeah, we, we do have like uh, 1500 uh, applicants coming in this year wow to Woodbridge and they're coming from all over the state right and even okay. some out of the state because New Jersey is an open state and they're oh. able to come and qualify for the national games and uh, in in New Jersey, I see. So even if they lived in Pennsylvania or something, they could come to New Jersey yeah. and and play in the yeah. games and qualify for the nationals. Yes. Yeah. And what's yeah. nice about that too, Tom? Uh, if a person from say Philadelphia, or Pennsylvania, yeah. well, mm -hmm. comes in, they win a gold medal, and one of our people from New Jersey is up there with winning a gold medal. Also, what we normally do, we uh, we honor the winner from. Uh, from Pennsylvania, but we also honored the second place when a gold medal from New Jersey. Okay, so gotcha. Not saying, why, is it, why are you letting people from out of state compete? Yeah. So we give them the opportunity. You try to be fair and, yeah, and yes. give everybody yeah. a shot. And that's that's been working pretty good. Yeah. Great. Nice. 
Now, you, you mentioned before, like, you have sponsors that help with, with the shirts and things like that. So did you want to talk about your sponsorships and sponsors well, a little bit? Tom, uh, if we didn't have sponsors, this event would never, never go on. Right. We have sponsors like uh, Blue Cross and Blue Shield of uh, New Jersey. Great. And then we have uh, Qual Care is one of our major sponsors. Nice. And we have uh, local banks that uh, that also sponsor us. Excellent. I think altogether we must have about 20, 22 sponsors. Uh, and, uh, this this helps us defray the cost for our seniors. Absolutely. I mean, that's how we can give them that five dollar uh, instead of thirty. Yeah, that's excellent. That's yeah. great. Now, that's important. And I know we used to have the Olympics before Woodbridge down this area, and I know we used to sponsor that because this was our service area. Unfortunately, Woodbridge is not our service area for for where I work. But sure. it's great that you have sponsors up in that area that are, that took the the bull and ran with it up there too, which is which is great. That's really nice. John Johnson and Johnson is one of our major sponsors, Excellent also. Company. So, yeah, that's you know, it's always went the healthcare. Yeah, no, so, it's good. It makes sense, you know, and it's good that they want to help keep our seniors healthy, yes, right? And yeah. they're the healthcare people, but sure, they they know sure. the importance of of staying fit and staying active, sure. right? In terms of really living a, a full productive life and getting the most out of like your retirement years and all that. Of course, you know, you worked hard getting to retirement and, and all those years. You should be able to enjoy them, right? Like yes, you know, yeah. so so that's great. And you guys both have been involved for how many years? Twelve. Twelve, 12 years. 12, 12, yeah. That's great. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, we're actually senior advocates. We like to get involved with seniors. Okay. And uh, whatever we can do to help seniors, we're there. Right. Yeah. That's great. It's all volunteer and also that's what we're doing. Yeah. Volunteer work. That's nice, but that's that's great. Thank. You. I mean, you know, sure. it's great that folks like you are doing the good work that you do to keep programs like this going. Because you know, if if you're not there being involved right. and carrying that torch, so to speak, and yes. pushing for it, then it, it's not going to happen. You know, a lot of people are busy and get distracted and do their own things, sure. and then wonderful programs like this, you know, fall yeah. by the wayside. So, thank you for for keeping that going. I think that's wonderful. It's thank really, you. really, really amazing. Mm -hmm. And now, if people wanted to like sign up or get more information about the organization, you have a website that you can uh, you can direct people towards. Yes, we have a website. Uh, it's uh, njseniorolympics.com. Okay, very easy. njseniorolympics.com. Good. Yeah, and we also have a hotline. That's uh, uh, I have it here. What's that I, 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 I have it, Frank. Yeah. You, you have it? Yeah, it's 973-618-1111. Okay. Right. Call that hotline any time of the day. Great. And one, of, one of us will get back to them. Yep, that's great. And answer any questions they may have, Tom. Excellent. So just repeat that phone number again. Sure. 973-618-1111. Right. Great. So that's great. So yeah, the phone number, the website, that's excellent. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of people are looking for that kind of information. It's great that they have a place to go get it, whether it's the website or the phone number. Yeah. Um, so that's great because you really want folks to, you, you're not doing this for yourselves, right? You're doing yeah. this so that people can really enjoy it, get the exercise, be engaged, be social, right? And yeah. and even for family members and friends to be able to cheer folks on, I think it's it's really a wonderful program and it's yeah. amazing. And you said how many? 1,500? 1,500. Oh, 15, we, wow. we expect the, and through the years, it has increased. Nice. We started out, I think it was maybe six or seven hundred, yes. and then it went higher and higher. And it, as it got more popular and got into uh, the states to, to hear about different, and this is how we got like we're close to fifteen hundred this year. That's incredible. That's really amazing. That's great work. So I think, uh, you know, I, I, having the website, having the phone number is important. Knowing about the organization is great. So I think our, our viewers are getting a lot of good information. And if you'll hang in with us, we're going to break for a commercial break, and we're going to come back and talk more about this, the New Jersey Senior Olympics. So please stay with us. We're going to just break for a quick commercial, and we'll be back with these two wonderful gentlemen and learn more about the New Jersey Senior Olympics. The Save Green Project provides New Jersey natural gas customers with rebates and financing options up to $19,000 for energy efficiency upgrades and whole house solutions to help you offset energy costs and save money. You can use these incentives to replace your HVAC system, water heating, and improve the comfort of your home with proper insulation. Plus, by participating in an eligible Save Green program, you can receive a free Ecobee 4 smart thermostat valued at $249.
We've helped over 49,000 customers invest in energy efficiency upgrades to save money and improve the comfort and value of their homes. To find out how the Save Green team can help you, call 877-455-NJNG or visit SaveGreenProject.com. Welcome back to SCAN's Community Connection. Again, I'm your host, Tom Hayes, and again, we've got these wonderful guests with us, uh, Pat Trombetta and Frank St. Marie, uh, who are co-chairmen of the New Jersey Senior Olympics. So welcome back. Thank you, Tom. Um, we, you know, it's been a wonderful conversation so far. This, this whole Senior Olympics uh, program and, and this whole idea of it is just phenomenal and excellent, I think, for, for all of us. So, um, and again, I really appreciate you guys being here and being able to Tell us so much about it since you've been involved for so many years and really help uh, really manage this thing and coordinate it and, and get it to happen in Woodbridge, New Jersey, right? So um, so it's really been great. I know we talked about before the break that you have about 1,500 participants, right? Yeah. That, that start out with the New Jersey Senior Olympics. And then some of those will qualify for the National Senior Olympic Games, right? Is that correct? Yes. So that's, that's pretty cool. And that, and that, I think you were mentioning that that kind of moves around every other year. Is that how that yes, works? It does. So how does that process work? The process works that uh, every, every gold medal winner, silver medal winner, bronze medal winner will have the opportunity to represent New Jersey at the Senior Olympics. Wow. Yeah, and they'll be playing in their age groups. That's basically. amazing. And uh, for, the, for the Nationals, they've been averaging between 15 and 20,000 people from all over the country wow. that attend this event. Wow. And uh, it's a great event. Uh, Frank and I were probably, uh, we went to uh, one event in San Francisco the national event. It was a great experience. Great. And, and see how hard these people work to compete in the Olympics. Wow, that's amazing. It was an honor for us to be there. How'd you do out there, can oh, I ask? We didn't participate. No. Oh, you just went out we, to... We just... went to see if we could bring it back. You don't want to show everybody up. I get it. You're very <laughs> modest people. I get it. <laughs> yeah. Now, I have to ask you, did the gentleman who was 104, did he ever go out there? You know something? He, he never he never went. Okay. Because he started, he started probably with us from Caldwell, New Jersey. He probably started in 98. Okay. And I was up to 104, but he never did uh, take the trip. Okay. I was just curious because that would be pretty amazing, right? Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. That's great. So, I mean, that's wonderful. And again, I, you know, so you guys have gone to watch it. Yes. Okay. Just to see what how the procedure works on a national basis. Right, you right. Know, to compare it with what we can do if we ever brought it to New Jersey. Right, okay. And it, it's a, a very expensive uh, situation to bring it. You need a lot of... Lot of uh, a lot of volunteers. Right. Okay. You need uh, monetary. It's 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 uh, quite a bit of money. And right. The, okay. the mayor made that trip with us because he was he was saying, "Gee, might be an opportunity that we could do it here." Yeah. But uh, right now, it hasn't. Uh, right. Gone, okay. Gone Again, it. like we talked a little bit before, like it, like the real Olympics or like the Super Bowl, yeah. you kind of vie for it. And you try to encourage yes. the group to come you have to everybody around the uh, the country is competing for for the senior games right, right? right. which makes sense because mm -hmm. it brings 20,000 people in to your community that's you know people staying in hotels and eating restaurants and mm -hmm. all those that's great true. things that that brings in money mm -hmm. to your community so mm -hmm. your your mayor is smart to be to yes. be looking to try to yes. do that and that's it, it, that's it, that's it, great just pigeonhole at the t at the present time yeah. who knows at some time maybe we may be able to bring it to New Jersey yeah i can't imagine why, especially you, after meeting you two, I think you could do it. <laughs> <laughs> I hope we're around for that, Tom. I hope we're around for <laughs> Now, you know, you mentioned, like, you know, it would take a lot, of, a lot of folks, a lot of volunteers and all that. I would imagine your program, even, you know, on its own, takes a lot of volunteers, right? Yes, yeah, the, yeah. definitely. Yeah, we usually get them from the, our three high schools: okay. Colonia High School, Woodbridge High School, and John F. Kennedy High School. Okay. And uh, we get about 230 volunteers because we need that many right. with all the events that we have. Right. And uh, it, it that, and we also get them from Rutgers University. Okay. That, uh, they they come in and they come and they volunteer. 
they just help the seniors uh, with whatever uh, senior needs or uh, uh, they'll help help uh, whatever they whatever their needs are that's great yeah and I think you were mentioning like Horizon Blue Cross Blue Shield yeah provides that, that's them. one of our major major uh, sponsors oh, okay. along with like I say we have many of them okay. uh, over 20 that's great and, uh, we have local banks like I said yeah uh, okay and so it, we need we need the input, you know, yes. financial help. So, so like they'll provide some sponsorship as well as some volunteers, perhaps. Yeah, and yes, things they like do. That, right, yes. that's great. That's excellent. That's that's really really great. Now, um, so you said if if you're in the local senior Olympics in New Jersey senior Olympics, you qualify for the nationals by winning one of the gold medals, a gold, bronze, or silver. Yes, yes. That's excellent. Okay. Yes. Do you have an idea of about how many? How many folks from New Jersey have gone probably, to the? It's probably on an average of four to four to six hundred. Oh, wow. That, that, yeah, probably wow. Probably six hundred. Yeah. That's pretty yeah. impressive. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Okay. They, with their opening ceremony, similar to the uh, regular uh, Olympics, each state carries in their own flag, along uh. with the participants from each state. Okay. And it, it's pretty much the, similar to the uh, national uh, Olympics. That's pretty impressive. Now, did you, when you guys went out to San Francisco, were you part of that party, or were you just in the audience, or did you get to walk with the with the flag and all that? No, just in the audience. Okay. But we did have some some people that participated in New Jersey. Okay. In that group. Okay. And they, some of them were from Woodbridge. Gotcha. Yes. That's great. Now, are you just out of curiosity, both life lifelong residents of Woodbridge, or just a long time there? Or? Yeah, I, I've been in Woodbridge for 56 years. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah, I've been in Woodbridge close to 65. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's great. That's great. That's so, great. And it's, again, I think it's uh, commendable that your mayor is so engaged and, and involved and supportive because that's a, it's an important thing. Because again, I was mentioning here at SCAN, we do so many programs with our seniors and provide really a lot of classes and, and programs and, and again, health classes, yoga, all these sorts of things for folks so they can really stay engaged because you've got a lot of brain power, you yeah. know, <laughs> and there's so much important information that you guys have and, and our, our seniors have. and you know, it's a shame that, you know, if people aren't engaged, like, you know, any of us, if you end up sitting on your couch too long, you end up becoming too comfortable, you know, and you don't really get out there and move. So it's important that folks are engaged and want to be engaged. And I think that as generations mature, they want to be more and more active. You know, I think, you know, folks like, you know, I'm going to say you're, you're young seniors and you're, but you're active and you keep yourselves active that way, which is great and keeps you young. Yes. And and I think we need more of that. And that's, again, what, what our purpose here at SCAN is, which is why it was so perfect to have you guys come on and, and be able to talk to us about you know, this, this wonderful New Jersey Senior Olympics. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Tom. You know, in addition to, you know, what happens is a lot of these athletes, they haven't seen each other since high school and or college and they come in they reacquaint themselves with some old friends that they haven't seen wow. maybe they played sports in high school or college with the uh, athletes and it kind of rejuvenates them to keep going you know yeah and, you know, this is what we're at this is what we really like that's pretty wild I, I didn't really think about that part of it that you know some yeah. uh, some athletes that had played together when they were younger yeah. actually end up seeing each other at these events and kind of reconnect yeah you know what's so important about this too Tom is Frank and I met people from all over the state that come in every year. A lot of them come, and we know them by names. Mm. And it's really something that we know all these people, and we feel honored to know them. You know, yeah. And how well they compete, and uh, they developed a good friendship with them. Yeah, no, that's really excellent. Yeah. That's, a, that's important. I mean, again, that's what, why we are here on this earth, right? To at least mm -hmm. socialize, be friendly to each other, helpful to each other, you know, provide support to each other. So it's, it's nice that you have these programs and something like this. I, again, it's a whole weekend plus these other dates that you mentioned, like the golf and yes. archery, you said, is another well, date too, right? Yeah. That's, that's interesting. And do you do that stuff, like the archery, does that take place in Woodbridge also that's just at a different time? or is it? Fortunately, right now, that's the only one that we do not do in Woodbridge. We do that in Brookdale Park in Bloomfield, New Jersey. Okay. They have a 
very professional archery course there. Ah, well, so exactly. we've been using using them. They do a great job. That's us. great. That's the only event that we have outside of Woodbridge. Okay. Yeah. That's great. And the golf is, is the, the golf is in the country club in okay. Woodbridge. Nice. Yeah. Okay, that's great. And you have about a hundred golfers that yeah. participate in that. That's yeah. Yeah. pretty exciting. Yeah, that's an exciting day. Yeah. You know, that one day, and it's, it's, it's the weather is good. It's a very exciting day. Yeah. yeah. Now, do you guys play golf? No, I don't. No, you don't know. Okay. Not anymore. Yeah. <laughs> I did a long time ago. Yeah, gotcha. But that's the, yeah. that's that's great sure. though. Sure. And are you there for that event? Do you yes, help out? Yes, you we saw your yes. We're okay. There. You know, your volunteers and all that, right? Because yes, yes, I know those yes, types yeah. of tournaments take a we lot of volunteers. We start them off with a nice continental breakfast. Nice. And they, they go and play 18 holes of golf. They come back from the breakfast, they have a nice lunch, and we give out the medals that day to them. That's so, great. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. That's really nice. Yeah. And that's part of the, the national games, too, is, is golf? Golf is part of the wow. national games, yeah. 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 That's yeah. really, that's exciting. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I have to, like, remember all this stuff. Yeah. <laughs> we're, we're always looking for new games to introduce to the seniors. Right. Like, well, like I you said, before, cornhole, right? Cornhole. Yeah. yeah. That's a nice it game. Can, it is. Very popular. Right. And um, that miniature, miniature golf we brought on, too, which recently. Yeah, which we have, is a, we have a nice miniature golf course in Woodbridge okay. behind our community center. Nice. Perfect. So we, 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 we brought that into the Olympics. Excellent. Yeah. yeah. That's great because yeah. it's it's enjoyable. It's not like you said you don't want to be over strenuous and, and yeah. crazy at times. But those that want to play real golf can do that. Those that want to play miniature golf can do that. So yes. that's good. Yeah. And again, the cornhole game is it's it's relatively new. I mean, it's a, yes. sort of the idea of, yeah. of horseshoes in a sense, but it's a little different. And, a little different. You know, and a little different. I know when I play with like my daughter in particular, it beats me every time with that game. <laughs> as much as I love it, it frustrates the academy. Yes, yeah, it is. It is. It's, it's, it's good. Yeah, it's yeah. always a pleasure to see these seniors, especially in the uh, track and field. They're up in their 80s and 70s and 90s, and right. they're over there shot putting and That's amazing. javelin. And I said, "Oh my God!" I yeah, <laughs> you know, right. I'm still very active to do these things. That's that's yeah. great. Yeah. So, how about how many activities are there during this the New Jersey Senior it's Olympics? Twenty-one activities we have. Right Twenty-one now. activities. Twenty-one activities. All right, and that includes like the shot put and the javelin. Yeah. And yeah, okay. I have a list right now. I can go through quickly. Is archery, basketball, foul shooting, and accuracy shooting, basketball three on three, bocce, billiards, bowling, cornhole, cycling, darts, fencing, golf, horseshoes, miniature golf, pickleball, racquetball, swimming, table tennis, team softball, tennis, track and field, and volleyball. Wow. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. Well, that's good. I'm glad our, our, our listeners and viewers got to hear all the, that list because there might be something that really strikes them as like, oh, I love that. I'd yeah. like to do yeah. that or I can compete in that. Something I could do. Yeah, yeah. no, for sure. That's it. And it does. It's well-rounded. It's, it's something for everyone in there. Yeah, sure. That's really excellent. So, the, it, so again, the website, if people wanted to get more information? That's uh, NewJerseySeniorOlympics.com. Okay. And the phone number? Hotline phone number is 973 Six one eight one 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 one. Very good. Well, I want to thank you both. Really, it's been it been wonderful talking with both of you, and I really commend you on all the great work that you do, and really keep this whole program going. We appreciate that, and that's uh, it's just really excellent. And again, so thank you for your time. We appreciate that, and thank you to our viewers. We always appreciate you, and we always hope you're learning some good information about our community as well as all the good programs here at Scan. Take care.